Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. So what's going on, Slim B? Hmm, what's what's poppin', man? We in your city, Jones, bro, man. How you feeling today? Feeling good, man. Feeling blessed. Yeah, blame. yeah, yeah. Um, I appreciate you reaching out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody, but especially you. Um, you set up the Charlie Brown interview, too. Some <laughs> people don't even know that, but you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you helping me out and always supporting the brand, you feel me? Already changing plans, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get straight into it, man. Um... I'm gonna I'm go and cover this topic since it's relevant. Um, we know a couple weeks ago, Young Dolph was murdered in his hometown. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I'm asking this this question or want to know your view because the people know Jonesboro from this Snoop. For sure. Okay. Um, this Snoop man had been ranking in this in this town before he died and after. Yeah. And he was killed. You could say in his hometown too. It wasn't right here in Jonesboro, but a few miles down the street. Yeah. Um, but overall, like, how do you feel about basically that entire situation when it comes to, especially the, the young Dolph? That's the first, the young Dolph. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, that was just crazy to me. It's, I'm still, like, surprised by that one. Like, because Dolph, man, Dolph, Dolph was that boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, it was just stole. Like, you at a, at a cookie store. And they get you, like, man, I don't know. That was, it's just though, man. The streets wicked out here in yeah. real life. Yeah. It's always, streets always wicked, man. Yeah, um, sir. You could been out here doing what you got to do. And that, that energy, man. Mm, yeah. That, that energy will follow you. But, um, Jonesboro. Jonesboro, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, we know about <laughs> Jonesboro, man. What part are you from, Jonesboro? Uh, I'm right down the street from Zone 4, Dewey, you know what I mean? That's what I rep. Zone 4? Yeah. What's so special about Zone 4? Zone 4, that's, that's like the project where, I, see, I stay like on the street, like this, it's like a central street between both hoods, like that everybody walk through to and from the Crooked T. You come in to, to the projects, you walk and you going to walk down my street and vice versa if you go into the Crooked T from Zone 4. You're gonna walk down, do it, you know what I'm saying? But uh zone four, that's uh it's really it's really like I would say personally like the heart of Jones, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's where everybody just just go hang out at and vibe, you know what I'm saying? It's like a central location for everybody to just go do their thing. Is I it like a neutral zone in the city? Uh I really wouldn't say that. You know, everybody ain't just welcomed over there, but you know, for the most part, it's love. You gotta, you need to know somebody who knows somebody just to be hanging over there and chilling over there like that. You know what I mean? Oh, is it like dangerous as well? Oh, uh, definitely can be. You know, it's really just how you present yourself as a person. What type of energy? Yeah, we was talking about Zone Four, bro. Um, what's the everyday life in Zone Four? Like, what 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 goes on in Zone Four? Oh, uh, most I can't even say, I guess, it's just maintaining, surviving, you know what I'm saying? Just... Like, for you, was it like, <laughs> oh, man, I had to fight all the time, or I was always into something? See, just to break it down, to clarify it a little more, uh, I'm not originally from Zone 4, but everybody over there, they love me, so I rip, I rip and put on for them, too, Zone 4, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, at, coming up as a young child... My daddy, he stay, he stay like right directly in zone four, like by the, his house, then the projects right here, you know what I'm saying? So, I used to walk over there all the time, you know what I'm saying? Just riding bikes, uh, playing ball in the park and everything. Mm -hmm. And then they had this candy lady, Miss Hall, had them sour belts, 10, cent, 10 cents each sour belt. So, I, you know, I'm going to take a dollar every time, get 10 of them things. Candy lady? Wow. Miss Hall. Shout out yeah. my candy lady, Miss Hall. You yeah, feel yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun and adventurous for me, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Did, um, being in that neighborhood, did it, was it, was it rap first? Did it, that's, that's, that, that's what made you want to rap? Or did you do, what did you do before the rap? Or how did it come about? 
Uh, I started rapping at like nine years old. That with that story, it it just went like I was just randomly at my my brother's friend house one day during the Super Bowl game. Who was playing during the time? Uh, St. Louis Rams and Tennessee Titans. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so during halftime, we we uh we just chilling, we ain't looking at the commercials and all that. But so my brother had left from my friend crib. He left me over there. So his name Allen, my brother friend. He put in he put in some tapes of him singing. So next thing you know, it's like some some type of endorphins just went off in my body and my mind. Like I'm like. What I can't it's blowing my mind. I'm only nine years old. I can't believe this like what? So I'm like, man, let me let me let me record something, you know what I'm saying? So so I got on the, it was some type of RB instrumental. I don't remember what whose instrument it was. So I got on there singing and rapping a little bit. Then after I left from there, came back to my grandma's crib. She had this little tape recorder, black tape recorder, had a built-in mic on it. You know what I'm saying? And it sounded good with clarity. Just Start recording from there. I ain't looked back since. Mm, do yeah. you remember your rap? I really don't, honestly. Uh, Probably a good thing I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and at that time, um, you know, well, of course, you know, you used the resource you had to record. You right. know what I'm saying? Did you just keep on doing it, or you just stop and say, "Hey, this is something that I know I can do"? No, I. It was like. This is a throw comparison, but this is the first thing that came to my mind. It's like, it's like, uh, this throw, because I'm a throw thinker. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like getting hit by a diesel truck and then losing my arm. And I can't never get that arm back. And I'm comparing it to like, as if I, as if I wanted to stop, you know what I'm saying? As if I'm waiting for an arm to grow back or something. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but that arm gone. I'm you here now. You gotta live like this. This how the music hit me. Like pow. You something you you can't get what you was doing before back. It's like it's here now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live with it. You gotta live with the condition. You gotta live with this music. It's in you. It's a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I know that's a thought who compares it, but that's just the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, I've never yeah. described like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. For it's sure, it gotta be in you, you know what I'm saying? On you. Yeah, and you in on you. You right, sure. you right about that. Um, did you all right, nine years old you started rapping. Um, did you did you continue to rap from nine years old consistently, which you or did you stop, do something else and then start back rapping? Yeah, I stopped like uh, let me see, about by eighteen years old, that's when I started DJing a lot and started doing like mixtapes, hosting different artists mixtapes and putting out compilation mixtapes and DJing the different clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, so I put the rap on pause a little bit just to focus mainly on DJing. Great. Gained a lot of great relationships through the DJing stuff too, so it was, it was very beneficial. Mm, so yeah. you DJ, rap, um, you do you do like videos? I was, yeah. I used to shoot videos too. You would shoot, hold on, you would Kind of like a jack of all trades on the real. That's Thanks. what people know me for in, in my area, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to music, I'm probably like the first person that come to people's mind besides the great Snoop, little Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, Slim B, you know what I'm saying? We trying to do something, something. man, let me need to holler at Slim B. Woo -woo -woo. That's just what people been knowing me at because they know I've been doing this so long. Passionately and consistently, you know what I'm saying, with music, whether it's DJing, rapping, making beats, doing graphics, shooting videos, like you do it all. They, that's what they know me for, yeah.